even though flashlights such as this one, single cell, uh, typical EDC flashlights are the more practical ones to have around, these are the ones that are going to be more useful during blackouts and I'm talking about lots of lots of years of experience of pretty much having blackouts all the time. That is just the way it is in places like Argentina where there's power failures very often and you just learn uh, a thing or two. One of those things that you learn is that headlamps simply allow you to use both hands and place light exactly where you need it. That is a huge, huge advantage. Folks, this is Fernando doing our video for the Marshall Rivalist, and in this case, I'm showing you guys the Through Night TH10 in neutral white, which is my favorite choice. I like how it renders colors better than cool white. Even though you do lose a little bit of lumens, I just find it to be a little bit more of a useful light. Uh, thanks again to the great folks of Through Night. Whenever I have any requests, guys, I'd like to try this, that. The people from Through Night are just fantastic and their products so far have not let me down at, at all. And you guys buying these products because of my recommendations and from other people as well seem to be happy enough with them. The price, of course, is one of the greatest things a uh, ThruNet has going for it. Now, a price really doesn't make much of a difference if, if what you're buying is no good, all right? The idea is that you get a bargain when you get a very good product for a very affordable price, for a very reasonable price. Uh, that's the case with Runite. The products are very well put together as well. So you have your box, good packaging as always, so as to protect it from damage during the um, the shipping, you have a small uh, manual here, which we're going to be taking a look at in a second. A little bit of advertising. Let's see what guys in through night have. Lots of these have already been reviewed. TN12, TN4A, TN36. Very powerful, this one. Great flashlight. My favorite of the through night line, the T, the keychain flashlight. Amazing little flashlight, 162 lumens using a single AAA battery. This is just, I think it's going for less than 30 bucks. It's a complete steal. If you don't have this in your keychain, I know what you're doing, but you really should have this one. So back to the through night headlamp. Let's first take a look at what we have here. All right, we have the actual flashlight. And yeah, of course you have a, a few, actually three O-rings and one of those rubber clicky buttons that goes underneath spares. These, make sure you keep them around because whenever it is that you need them eventually, after probably years of, of use, you're gonna be happy you have that. And the actual flashlight. It's, you know, it's made of aluminum, which is good solid construction. You have some ribbing here for, uh, for uh, cooling. This is a, a pretty uh, powerful uh, flashlight, the TH10. Usually headlamps are really not that that bright. Usually they they use, uh, you know, small batteries. You know, usually double A. The Petzl Petzl is you know one of my favorite headlamps, uh, and they are great. They are you know top brand and all, but it's usually not very powerful. Even uh, though you get a decent amount of lumens, it's not in the range of, of what you have here in the TH10. So construction is what you can expect from through night. Very, very good. The machining all around, the finishing of the anodizing, all very good. You have a reflector. It has a very slight orange peel there. I can already see the uh, anti-reflective coating there. But yes, the machining, the knurling there, just all very good. Solid enough strap. Okay, so let's take a look at the specs. $39.95, guys, it's a very reasonable price. Small manual, which makes things easier. Okay, so there we go. Through Night TH10 is the first headlamp designed specially to feed outdoor enthusiasts and people who want to be hands-free while a flashlight is needed. Yes, my point, what I was talking about before, the ability of using both hands, it's you know, often not fully appreciated. Uh, the Cree, we have an XML2 LED with a lifetime of 20 plus years. Uh, modes and runtime, here we go. The Through Night, this one uses an 18650 battery which allows you to have you know more power basically you have different modes with a firefly mode 0 to 0 0.2 lumens for 65 days low mode for 11 lumens and 107 hours medium for 172 lumens for 9 hours high of 490 hours for 178 minutes turbo mode which is 
750 lumens for 118 hours. SOS mode is 750 lumens for 270 minutes. Power supply, 1-18650 battery or two CR123A batteries. These are being used more and more as time goes by. They're not the smallest flash, the, the smallest battery, but it is the most one of the most powerful ones that you, ha you can have in a reasonable size. It's being used more as time goes by because of just that. It just makes things easier instead of using two CR123A batteries, if that's the kind of power that you're going for, to just go straight for one of these, one of these 18650s. And you know, you have a, a 3,400 milliampere. You know, it's a, a pretty good battery for uh, more demanding uh, needs in terms of, of lumens when you just need more light. Beam distance 148 meters, waterproof IPX8, impact resistance 2 meters, pretty typical from what we have usually from uh, through nights. Battery installation, screw off the tail cap, the right cap when the switch is, yeah, the right cap when the switch is phasing up and the head is forward. Insert the battery with a positive terminal pointing in the battery tube and the screw on a tail cap. Right, let's just do that. I don't remember seeing it has any battery polarity protection, so make sure you do things right. Positive pointing towards the tube. There we go. And this is because I noticed that they have uh, a spring there. I don't know if you get to see that using my other throw knight there. You see that spring there? So as to keep it in place. And there it is. Threads are, you know, butter. Very, very good machining there again. You notice the, the quality when you screw it back into place. Let's keep reading. Turning on and off, single press the switch to turn the light on and off. Okay, we have our switch there. Turn it on, yeah, bright. Change modes, when the light is on, long press the switch to cycle through low, medium, and high. When the light is off, long press to turn the, uh, to firefly mode, double click to turbo mode for any mode, double click to activate SOS a mode from turbo. Basically, guys, it works this way. You long press it and it turns on on the firefly mode. This is so as to quickly access when you just need a little bit of light, not crazy amount of lights, just to, you know, move around maybe in, in indoors after being a use, you know, when you when your eyes get used to the darkness, you use the firefly mode, works well enough. You double click on it so as to go for turbo mode, you double click again for SOS, all right? So long press, Firefly, double click turbo, double click again, SOS. Then if you just turn it on and you keep it pressed, you cycle through the different modes. Turn it off, turn it on and again, goes back to that last mode that I used, the one that for whatever reason I found to be most useful Suppose I like the low mode, that works well enough for me. Turn it off, turn it on again, go back to that last one that I use. Still double clicking turbo and long pressing gives me the firefly. Right, memory function, the, will, the light will turn on the last mode access except turbo and uh, SOS. Warranty, the, flash, the through night flashlights are high brightness output lights which may cause vision impairment. Uh, or other <laughs> well actually that's exactly what happened I, I thought it said warranty is this warning and my eyes are a little bit uh, stunned because of the light I accidentally flashed myself um, you see contact us if you have any questions well the warranty I believe it's the same that you always have from from through nights which oddly enough it's not in here but no doubt whatsoever if you have any problems. I think the warranty was uh, basically, and you can check this in their website for all through night products, uh, it's a, I think it's like 12 months, pretty much you know you're gonna be taken care of if you have any issues. Let's try bouncing it there on the, on the, on the roof a little bit to see how it performs and then we'll try some shots outside.
All right, this is something that we've done before. Just to give you a general idea of what you can expect from turbo mode. It is definitely, you know what, it's a thrower light. It throws, it concentrates that light pretty well. And with the kind of LED that you have, especially with a, with a, 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 a smooth reflector that you have, you understand why you have such a good th throw. This is going to be a 750 lumen bright light that focuses light uh, well to a distance. Uh, this is not typical of, of most headlamps, so if you're looking for something like this for $39.95, it should work quite well. Let's try the different modes. Color is very good. Now, I'm I'm pleasantly surprised that in spite of being uh, a smooth reflector, it's not showing any dark rings or artifacts in, in the light, in the hot spot, which is very nice. Let's see some night shots right now. Okay, so we'll start with the moonlight mode, which is not very bright, but good enough for close distance. There we go. Now, looking further away, it's just not bright enough. We turn it on, and this is the low mode. medium as you see it has good enough throw actually it's quite good throw high turbo and the stroke or actually it's a SOS Okay, and that has been the Thrumanite TH10, 750 lumens thrower headlamp using rechargeable 18650 batteries. Great, another great uh, option from the nice people over at Thrumanite. Folks, that's going to be all for now. Remember to subscribe, have a great day, and see you in our next video.